Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, Greg here from Fox Family Heating and Air. Um, yeah, I just wanted to kind of bring you guys up to date what's been going on at Fox Family. So I was in the office the other day and a guy just called me out of the blue and he was like, hey, uh, you know, I'm a general contractor and um, I need a mechanical uh, contractor to come out and work with me on some of my jobs. And I'm like, hey, all right, sounds, sounds good. You know, it turns out he works, uh, he ends up doing some big remodels on jobs, you know, for like these million dollar houses and stuff like that. So like that's, uh, that sounds pretty good to me. I guess he reached out to us because his mechanical contractor was doing some shady stuff on the job site. And I asked him how long he'd been working with him. Cause you know, I really didn't want to work with a guy if he's like constantly turning over, uh, contractors, but he said he worked with this guy for two years and he worked with his previous contractor for about six months. So both of those guys, he said, ended up doing some shady stuff. So he just, he worked with the one guy for like two years and then uh, just didn't like what he was doing there at the end. I guess he was starting to get a little greedy on the money end. And then I don't know the specifics of what he was actually doing on the job that was like unethical, but one of his employees like kind of ratted him out like uh that there was some something going going wrong so he was like i i basically i need a i need a good ethical company to come out and do my work i'm working in some some big homes with people who have lots of money and um i'm they're trusting me to do these jobs and i need to be able to trust my mechanical guy to come out and uh do the work as well so i'm like yeah absolutely I mean, we'd give us a chance we'd love to prove it to you you know that we can we can do that so one job um, that he's already lined up for us was a, uh, a house in Fair Oaks where he's actually gutting uh, a house by, I don't know, it's like a 1700 square foot house. He's gutting that and adding on to it. And so we get to install the, uh, we get to take out the old HVAC system and then install a new HVAC system according to the plans that he drew. So he basically just gave me some plans uh, and the sizing of the house and the sizing of all the rooms and everything. And um, you know, it's all gonna be brand new windows and insulation and all that stuff. So I was able to size it up. I think I actually have some pictures I can show you guys of the uh, plans that he drew out for me. So you can see that's the old house right there. Uh, and they're basically gonna gut this whole thing right here. And this is the new job that we're gonna get. So we're gonna have to run ductwork to all of that. This is actually downstairs. So you got like a stairwell right here that off this main room. You get the stairwell that you go down to the lower part of the house, which is this uh, uh, rec room and a bedroom, the bathroom. So I gotta figure out how to get airflow into these uh, rooms as well. But the good thing is that the sheetrock won't be up until very last, so I can, I can deal with that. I think we were thinking about actually doing a, a on this house we were gonna do some zones, and uh, I think I kinda broke it down Kind of broke it down into this zones right here. We're gonna do three zones. We got a, like a living area, the bedrooms upstairs, and then the bedroom and the rec room downstairs. So, so this is the upstairs. So we're looking at like just doing kind of a zone right here, and then a living zone, and then you got your third zone, which would be downstairs. And then these are kind of nice. He has like the elevation plans that he gives us to gives to me. It kind of gives me an idea of what the house is actually going to look like. So here you can see this is the upstairs bedrooms. Here's that rec room downstairs and the bedroom. And there's the existing house as it is now. But but um, it's going to be pretty sharp when he's done with it. Really looking forward to doing the job. Another one he's doing is he's got like this million dollar house. It's huge. It's got a big five ton system in it. Two zones. It's a Bryant. And it's not that old he's going to add on i think like 900 square feet <clears throat> and in that 900 square feet you're going to have a like a fifth bedroom we're going to call it a master but um it's actually like a um you know his the people that live there 
his his mom is handicapped so uh and then he has like a sister that's becoming handicapped so they're actually um building some you know building on to the house so that mom can get around um and kind of be in her own you know you know particular part of the house and well there was no way that i could there was no way that I could tie this ductwork in, the five tons of ductwork in, and like make it a third zone because it's it's like we're literally going off like the gable side of the house. I could run a couple trunks down into the attic and then out. I felt like the system was already maxed out with the size of the house that it is right now. So with the addition being put on, uh, I felt like let's put in a ducted uh, mini split and we'll just run, we're gonna run five uh, trunks to that with a return as well. So we've had success with the ducted uh, mini splits. It's great efficiency. I mean, they're 20 sear systems uh, and I just can't complain at all about them. They're just uh, super smooth to put in and they run really nicely too. So, and they're, and they're super high efficiency. So, uh, and then for every one that you put in, the local utility company will give them a rebate uh, as well. So that's kind of nice for them. So this, I just explained to the contractor like, hey, this will be great actually. We're gonna make this its own zone. So it's basically like a third zone for the house. She can, she'll have a thermostat that she can control the uh, temperature of her house. So if she likes it a little bit warmer, um, then you don't have to worry about it uh, affecting the other people in the house as well. And today I just got sent over to, oh, I got sent over to Lucky Carmichael. Uh, so I went over to Carmichael and I, I say that because anytime somebody wants to do anything with ductwork, you know that that ductwork is gonna be under the house and it's probably gonna be slammed to the ground, like probably about you know 18 to 24 inches, which is what it was. And I think you can see I'm a little dirty right now. It's because I'm the one that went and crawled under the house. So on this house, it was crazy. He actually, um, it's a five ton system, big old house, 20, 2,400 square feet or something like that. And he's got decent return. He's got two 16s coming in for return air, which gives you eh, close to 2000 CFMs. And, but he's only got one 16 coming off the supply. And that one 16 goes from the attic split system down through a closet, down through a chase, and then into a, a long, a big elongated rectangular chase there and then the, the ducks branch off from there so but where that trunk is where that main trunk is down underneath the house he wants the contractor needs to actually put a uh, a pier there because he's got some load bearing walls that he's messing with and he's going to build a new beam basically across across that for this remodel and so so basically where that uh trunk is is where he needs to pour that beam and how much would it be for us to move that trunk out of the way while he pours his beam and then put it all together afterwards. So I'm, I'm looking at that job, I'm under the house. I, I had a couple pictures of it. I'm looking at that house and I'm like, I mean, that's gonna be like a, <laughs> like a three or $4,000 job. And you've only got one 16 inch duct coming down and supplying that. That's like a, that's like a thousand CFMs that's uh, supplying the trunk for all of the house for this five ton system. So I said, hey, why don't we, why don't we abandon that? Why don't we abandon what you guys got going on down there? And we'll just, we'll just put, we'll put all new ductwork up in the attic, uh, cut in all the registers, uh, you know, in the ceiling, and then run our ductwork uh, out from there. You know, it's it's not not a, not a ton of room up there, but I'd much rather run a whole new duct system up in the attic than have to mess with any of that stuff down under the house. It's just, it's slammed down there already to lower that trunk and then get it out of the way and then fabricate something back in there. It's just nightmare. So I'm like, see what this is gonna cost and then see what this is gonna cost. Plus you're gonna get better airflow to the house. So the homeowner understood after I explained it to her and um, so, I mean, it kind of bumps her, 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 the cost of her, the overall cost of her job up by about $5,000, but, but, uh, but at least this way, like she just moved into the house. So she doesn't even know how the air circulates in her house. But I can tell you right now, I'm looking at the registers that are in the floor and they're like these, you know, there's like some 10, 10 inch by three inch 
you know registers on the on the ground and um, they're just just small you know and old outdated 116 inch duct supply in that um, so I think she's gonna see it my way and do it but hey you know there's been some it's been some good work that we've been getting you know I mean like we're, we're already doing a good job on the residential side you know getting our own work but the fact that this contractor reached out to us and um, we're getting some work with him is uh, making for a promising 2018 so um, don't know if any of you guys noticed but I did shave my beard off uh, so <laughs> I was I was just feeling it I was looking at myself I was like man you're an old dude you look so old with your beard but I had like gray hair coming out here and here and here it's just no good so all right guys well I just kind of want to let you guys know what's been going on and I appreciate you guys watching as always I'll try and uh, keep up on the videos as much as possible you guys take care I'll see you on the next video all right